Mr. Hare. Mr. Crow. Report! We've lost him, sir. I don't want your excuses. Disappeared into the crowds. Which way was he heading? The station, sir. He has the documents. Danvers has seen and heard too much. He knows about the Kazich and D-Labs. He could have seen the experiment. How? The firewalls are hat-proof. To those on the outside, yes. Ah, he's one of us. Perhaps I can think of a better purpose for Mr. Danvers. Shall I get after him, Mr. Hatton? He'll be catching the last train. Which platform, sir? There is still time. No. Leave him be. I know which train he's on, and I know where he's going. Where, sir? Where is he going? <laughs> he's going nowhere. No. Stop, Mr. Danvers. How do you know my name? You told me. In between kips. Kips? You mean I woke up? Oh yes, I should say so. Quite chatty you were. That's an impressive old train. Old, sir. It may be lacking a little polish here and there. But this old girl hasn't let us down yet. The tourists must love it. And your outfit. Outfit, sir? I see. Reenactment or something. You've lost me, Mr. Danvers. Was there something else? Did you see anybody else aboard the train at London? Only you. And the young lady. Young lady? A girl? Yeah, that's right. Unless I've been getting it wrong all these years. Where did she get off? Well, here, of course. Sage Marsh. Where did she go? I've seen no other passengers. Through the fens, I'm guessing. Fancy your chances, do you? I resent that remark. Do you now? Well, that's interesting. Have we been here long? It was midnight when we left London. No, we've just arrived. Bang on time. There's nothing here. What am I supposed to do? Maybe Sir should have thought about that before boarding. Usually, out of flood season, we would continue on, but the spring tide flood the fens, meaning said marsh is our last stop. What time does the train leave? No passengers for the return journey. What? 
You can hardly leave me here. You'd rather end up at the terminus, sir. I'll return shortly. Very well, Mr. Danvers. No idea where this leads. If it leads anywhere at all. This could be my last chance. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can I help you? I don't know. I was hoping that you could... Could what, sir? That's an impressive old train. Old, sir. It may be lacking a little polish here and there. But this old girl hasn't let us down yet. The tourists must love it. And your outfit. Outfit, sir? I see. Reenactment or something. You've lost me, Mr. Danvers. Was there something else? Where does the path lead? Saxton, sir. Across the fens. Why doesn't the train go there? The floods, Mr. Danvers. I did say. During the spring, the line ends here at Sedgemarsh. Can I get to Saxton on foot? Oh, easily, sir. Follow the path through to Saxton. Big town, is it? Home, food, a bed? Big enough. You'll find all you need. A little treasure it is. Treasure? Why do you say that? You'll know soon enough. I see. Very well. I'll see for myself. That you will. Oh, seeing as you're heading that way. What? I found this on the train. The young lady must have dropped it. That was clumsy. What can I do? Well, if you're quick, you'll catch her up in no time. I'll try my best. So long. Um, I didn't catch your name. No, that's right. You didn't. Station Master will do. Oh, goodbye, Station Master. Goodbye, Mr. Danvers. A town? The town of Saxton?
symbolic images or ancient graffiti. Excuse me. Quiet, man. You'll scare him away. at the North Sea. Next stop, Norway. entirely wasted. Idea where this leads. I have no 
idea where this leads. Dangerous undercurrents. I should take that as a warning. To watch my step from now on. Nothing ventured. An abandoned building. What's up with him? Ah, oh, here you are. Excuse me? I'm oh, sorry, I should have said good evening. What is that? In the water? A tree stump, I think. Dark and shapeless. It could almost be a small body, couldn't it? I don't know. It's too far away. Yes. Be a child's body. What? We should. Do not fret. My all will become clear. Is Saxton near here? You are standing on Saxton shore. So, yes, you could say you've arrived. At last. I had to walk across the Fenland. The last train never arrives in Saxton. Why is that? I have no idea, dear boy. Saxon's an isolated town. I expected to arrive at Saxton Station. High tides flood the family, and no one can enter or leave the town. How do you cope? Cope? Cope with what? You know, emergencies and the like. Oh, I see. Oh, we cope. Yes, we cope very well. Um, okay. I'm seeking bed and board in the town. The bear is most likely. Why, a treasure. <laughs> well, and there's a thing. Thing? I'm seeking my fortune. Yes, you and the, you and the others. Others? What others? The May Day tides bring many to Saxton. Why is that? High tides eat away at the rocks, cliffs and sandbanks. The low tides expose that which has been hidden. Like ancient treasures? Hmm, perhaps. That and people's fortunes. And futures. I'll leave you in peace. Very well. I'll be seeing you again, sooner or later.
too dark to see with my own eyes. I think I'll pass on a local delicacy. An abandoned building, it looks foreboding. I think I'll pass on a local delicacy. I think I'll pass on a local delicacy. Hello there. Oh, hello. What are you up to? What are you up to? On holiday, actually. And, and you? Work. I'm a writer. A journalist for the local rag. I'm guessing not much happens around here. You'd be surprised. It's a foggy night. That's one word for it. This fog hides many things. Like treasure. Ah, uh, another glory seeker. Not exactly. I'm not sure what I'm seeking. I'll see you around. You will. Trust me. There's someone out there. Excuse me, can you help? Good afternoon, stranger. What can I get you? I'll take a bottle of uh, still water. Can I rent a room for a week? All our guest rooms are taken. Busy time, May. So there's nothing you can offer? Well, there is the cottage on the harbour, if that suits you. Well, I'll take anything you have. It's clean, but a bit cluttered. I'm none too fussy. I'm sure it will be fine. I hope you don't mind the sounds and briny smells. Is it nearby? It's right on the harbour, surrounded by water. Perfect. What do I owe you? We can settle up when you leave. That's if you leave us, Mr Danvers. Here's the keys and a map of the town. Pardon me, but uh, who are you? Me? I'm Morgan, the landlady of the Bear, and have been for a few years now. And you are? Nigel. Nigel Danvers. You'll be in for quite a week. Is May a busy time for Saxton? 
Yes, you could say that. Local events? The Saxton May Day Fair is famous in these parts. You'll be in for quite a week. Does the pub have a phone? Afraid not. Wouldn't be in keeping with the place. Is there a payphone in town? Yes, across the harbour, over the bridge and up Station Lane. I'll catch you later. Perhaps. An old painting, or a copy of one. That's unusual. The clock is stuck at nine o'clock. I think I'll pass on the local delicacy. The harbour wall. The creaky sign says, The Bear. You boy! You, boy, what are you doing, loitering? I'm staying nearby. Uh, Harbour Cottage? This town attracts all sorts of freaks and losers at this time of year. What's so special about this time of year? Oh dear, not too bright, are you? Had much experience of geology, have you? Well, no, not really. I've always thought that, uh... How about archaeology? Uh, no, but I'm willing to learn. Do you believe this county conceals hidden treasures? I do. Whether we find them is another matter. This land is old and steeped in blood and horror. The landscape around us has been witness to the fall of kings and death in plague-sized proportions. Time and turmoil can see some items misplaced. They are there for us to find if you know where to look. I'm keen to find the treasure. Where's the best place to start? Well, that's an easy one. Leave town, walk back across the fen to the station. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm with you so far. Get on a train and clear off back to London ASAP. I can't do that, Mr... Hardacre. Professor Hardacre. Famed archaeologist. Perhaps you've heard of me. No. My journey was a one-way trip. This seems a uh, good town in which to disappear. On the run, are we? No. Just laying low for a while? I'd suggest making peace with who you're running from and getting back to your own little world. You could be right. 
I can but try. I'm not going back to London, empty-handed. So be it. Enjoy your stay. is a dump. I guess it'll have to do for now. Time to have a look around. Home sweet home for the time being. phone line is silent. It must be disconnected. There's something about this wall. Something not quite right. No one has been through there for decades. The other pages appear to be blank. That's very odd. There's a windmill carved into the wood.
Frederick Ager. Perfect place to pin the hidden documents. 